Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Pacifica here in EU4 Super States Mod. Now, we've been fast-forwarding for a few years. It's only been, I think, three years. And we've been waiting for uh, certain cores to be finished from our colonies down here in the south so that we can sell them more land. Specifically, Kali needs to core Huanuko and as no, Nazca before we can sell him uh, these three provinces. And Yargentina needs to core Moxos before we can sell him this province and this province. Once all that's done... Oh, all right, was one more as well. This one. Okay, so we're still waiting for a few provinces before we go to, into any wars. And while we're waiting, diplomatic insult. Conflict sometimes erupted between... Uh, conflict sometimes erupted following diplomatic, diplomatic insults. Pacifica gets a diplomatic insult, causes Belia and Nuevo Leon. We don't need that, because, well, he's in a coalition against us. There's no way I would ever attack that. But look at this. Try to ease the tension. Holy crap. Pretty much every nation that we border, plus 60 relations. And this event alone, I think, is going to allow us to vassalize Chiapas and Kansas. The main things holding us back from Chiapas and Kansas are... Uh, big penalties for border friction and once your provinces. 61 border friction. But I think we can get around that. I think we can make this work. It's possible. We're going to have to be quick, though, because we're going to need to rely on things like... Um, what do you call it? Subsidies. And subsidies go up slowly over time, right? I mean, it's not like instant relations. All right, let's see. Come back from somewhere. Come back. Yep. And come back. Yep. Try to lead these guys over here. Uh, come back from Portugal. Don't worry about them. Uh, we've been but we've been buddying up with Russia because Russia for a little while had no heir. And come on, look at all that land. Wouldn't you love to just inherit all that land? But uh, he wound up having a baby, so eh, it didn't matter. Look how happy he is, though. He's like friendly, and he he would almost take a marriage right now. Yeah. In fact, as soon as we get the statesman, he, we can take a marriage. So let's start off by taking the statesman. There you go. Uh, that is hurting our Diplo points just a wee bit, but it's fine. Second thing we need to do is ally Chiapas. Do that right away. Uh, Kansas will do the same thing. Oh, what the heck? Stopwatch. Whoops. Kansas do the same thing. Come on. And we'll wait. We'll leave, we'll leave, this, leave this up for a month. September or so. Uh, October 15th or so and then we'll do the ease tension if we if we don't if we don't click ease tension we'll get the we won't forget this it automatically will take the top option if you ignore that stuff it always takes the top option but yeah I mean this is oh this is so good can we get that extra 90 relations I think we can I think we can uh, 90 relations what do we need for 90 relations well 60 of it's gonna be the insult uh, access That'll be 180, and then trade power should be 190, or we can guarantee him 190. Wow. Kansas, we're at 84, but we can bump it up with uh, improved relation. Oh, man, this is just so good. Let's just go ahead and do this now. I, I don't want to risk waiting and missing an opportunity to do that. That is just so good. So good. Holy shit. <laughs> I cannot express how amazed I am, amazeballs, that this opportunity has presented itself. What what a chance, you know? Like, how did that even happen? It's just so fucking lucky. Ridiculously lucky. You know what I mean? Here we are planning to invade Illinois and Tennessee and Michigan and Florida and Texas. And we keep getting missions to do all this stuff. And it's like, yeah, let's go kick some ass. And Massachusetts invading New York and Pennsylvania is invading too. And it's like, yeah. Oh, you want to see Australia? Yeah, look at that. Look at Victoria just walloping everyone, just dominating Australia. New South Wales, well, you had a good run. <laughs> Northern Territory, yeah, you're looking a little choked off over there. Western Australia, not much to say to you, bro. You're, you're, you're going downhill quick. Wow, holy crap, what an, what an opportunity. Coffee in Pehuenmapu, great. Looted in coal, it's fine. Okay, can we, oh, when can we do this? Oh, I'm I'm so I'm so fucking excited for this shit. This shit's gonna fucking happen. That's what she said. 
Access is good. Access is good. 170. Oh my god. Can someone please get the It's Happening GIF up? Because it's happening. <laughs> oh my goodness. 23rd November. There we go. Sumba has cord. Yay, we can build a fort over there. 69% of your trade. Thank you. And how much of your trade? Mm, a lot. 70% of your trade. All right. Sumba is one of the islands we took from Massachusetts. And we're going to up the fort. We also took Ternate and da, 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 Diego Garcia. Well, good stuff. And we took St. Helena. Ah, it's nice to have all these little islands scattered about. It's my island. It sure as hell is. 167 and 184. We are so close, I can fucking taste it. What a good event. What an amazingly good event for us. Wow. 24th. Come on. 1, 2, 3, 4. Bingo. Guarantee. Guarantee. We're there. Chiapas, baby. By, by one point. By one point, Chiapas is like, yeah. I, I can't even, I can't even. This is just amazing. I, I didn't think this would, wow, I am lost for words. Oh no, Argentina needs a new governor. Of course, I have a military guy. I am lost for words. Twenty-fifth. Send a gift. Wait, how much? It doesn't. Just give him a hundred ducats. I don't care. He's gonna be my bitch. And Chiapas, you're ready. You're in, baby. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Now, did you get any claims on Yucatan? You did. Good boy. That's my boy. Oh, Yucatan. Wait, I can't fabricate on you. Oh, yes, I can. Do I have a CB on you? No, I don't have a CB. All right, let's fabricate on Yucatan while we're here. Oh, goodness. This is awesome. Just go and next him. Sell it all to Chiapas. Oh, beautiful. And Kansas. Do you have any cores or anything left? Nope. All of his cores are on me. Or I, I own all of Kansas's cores. Okay. Well, then. Welcome to the club. Shiny, happy people holding hands. Oh, man. Excellent viceroys. Tariffs go up. Whatever. Yes! Yes! Oh, beautiful. Anyway, I just wanted you to, to witness that. That is my jubilation. Look at this. Oh, beautiful, man. We got Indiana. We got Wisconsin, Kansas, Durango, Chiapas, and of course, Cali, Argentina, Hawaii. Oh, yeah, we should get relations up with Hawaii. He's getting a little sad. Oh, look how sad he is. Oh, no, you were next to some vassals. Oh, no. Totally amazeballs depressed now. Northern Marianas Islands, also depressed. We'll get relations up. Oh, man, so good. So good. And that put us one over our Diplo limit. Worth it. Worth it. All right, uh, anyway, we're going to go back to just sort of fast-forwarding for a little while until we can keep selling lands to our colonies. And then we're going to go to war with Illinois, Michigan, and probably Florida. Actually, now might be a good time for war. Because we... Well... I don't know. How much overextension are we floating? We're floating 44 overextension because we can't sell this stuff right now. We can't sell it because he hasn't cored it, and he's... Uh, I don't know how long that'll take. Do you want to go to war now? Let's see. If we did it now... Wait, we don't have a claim on Florida yet. But he is, we do have trade conflict, right? We do have trade conflict. So that'll work. All right. Thinking... Thinking with my, my brain fruit here. Let's see. Claim Lubbock. Oh, yeah. 25 military points for claiming Texas. I have to take that mission. Uh, come back from... From Francie Pants. Claim Lubbock. You got it. Thank you. 25 military points. Alright, so let's see. We can declare on Florida. 
We have uh, trade conflict with him because he's embargoing us for whatever reason. We also have trade conflict on New York and Portugal. Okay. That will bring in Michigan, New York, Texas, and Virginia. Okay. So Michigan, we're going to get one province for, no, two provinces for our vassal, Indiana. Let's see. Texas, we can take some lands for ourselves, which is, okay, so that's my concern. If we take lands for ourselves from Texas, we're going to have to stay under this limit. So we can only take 56% which is really limiting. However, we should be able to sell Lima immediately after the war is over. I mean, right away after the war is over, we should be able to sell Lima day one. And if that's the case, then we can go beyond. We can go from 56, bump it up to uh, 80. Yeah, we can take 80. Okay, so that's not that, that... I felt like I had handcuffs on, but I don't. We don't. We're okay. Why do I have one ship here? I don't know. Anywho, that, that sounds like a pretty good plan. A PGP. Pretty good plan. So if we declare on Florida, we get Michigan, New York, Texas, and Virginia. I don't care about Virginia. I do care about New York. He's got all these islands that I want. Hmm. So it would kind of be a toss-up. Do we... Oh, it doesn't have to be a toss-up. It only takes like 18 months to core this shit. So maybe the plan is we go to war with New York. Or we go to war with Florida. We take over these islands from New York, uh, go invade New York while he's weak, uh, demand that he gives us all of that stuff. What about all this stuff? One, two, three, four. That's all in Brazil, am I right? No, that's actually in Guyana. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, we can take four provinces in Brazil. Oh, no, we can't because that'll be a colonial nation. We have to sell this first. Ooh. Well, we can leave him with just one province. Yeah, we'll just take three. Okay. A plan is formulating, and maybe we can take Fernando Poe. Yeah, okay. Trying to see what, what's available. So if we take land from New York, we can core it. We can core Jamaica and the Turks and all this stuff. We can core all this stuff, and then we can piece out Texas after we've cored all that stuff. That's possible. Or maybe we piece out Texas first. No, 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 because the Texas stuff is going to be really expensive, and this stuff probably won't. Okay, so plan is war with Florida. And then we also need another another war with Illinois. Let's see. Minitoba, Ontario. Oh. We're going to have to send him an insult or something because relations are too high. If I declare on him now, we're not going to be able to... Uh, well, we're going to take a stability hit if we declare on him now because relations are too good. Hmm. Tennessee, Ohio, Minitoba, and Ontario. Well... Maybe I just declare on Minitaba instead. Saskatchewan, no, because he, he likes me too. Alright, we'll just send an insult to Illinois. But let's start with the war with Florida. I think that's the the tougher target. Do I have a spare general? Nope. Alright, let's find our super guy. Superman. Superman. Superman? Superman? Over here. Excellent. And Henry Downey's no slouch. We really want Henry to die. Henry is our uh, our heir. And he's... Oh, wait, wait. No, no, not Henry. Oh, it just happened has the same name. Romualdo is our heir. And Romualdo, while he's, while he's a good general, he's a really good general, he's a pretty kind of below average king. So I don't want him to... I don't want him to get to the throne. So we're trying to kill off our king. I mean, we're trying to kill off the heir by having him as a general. But, you know, good luck to that. All right, Florida, do you have a decent navy? He's got 13 trade ships. That is not a decent navy, Florida. What's your army tech? 22. Oh, wow. Okay, looks like we need to start catching up on army tech. Actually, we can tech up next month, which I probably... Is it next month? Nine points? Yeah, next month we can tech up. I probably should. And we should also tech up our Diplo. No, if we want to annex our vassals, that's a bad idea. And I can't risk taking admin tech. Yes, I can. We'll stay in the war long enough that that won't hurt that much. Hmm. Oh, it only costs 186 points to tech up. Wow. Really? Ideas, negative 28% tech cost. Neighbor bonus, negative 20%. Economic controls, negative... Wow, our tech is cheap. That's amazing. Well, at least the admin tech is cheap. Hey, we got another cardinal. Go us. 
Okay. Steal him. France is improving relations with us. Good for you, France. Alright, more transports are finishing. That's fine. Alright, Florida, let's do it. Let's do it. He's like, let's be allies. And I'm like, let's kick your ass. He's like, oh no. Do I want to call Maryland in? I probably should. Um, yeah. Okay, so how do we get to Michigan? By declaring on Illinois. Okay, so we'll get to Michigan after we declare on Illinois. Not a problem. Okay. Shit just got real. Our fleet is massive compared to his. Texas has no more fleet. Uh, New York's going to join against us. I know they have a fleet. Uh, who else is going to join? I don't know. Let's see. Michigan's in. New York did not join. Damn it. Okay, so scratch the New York plan. But hey, Texas is in. And um, I've got two armies over here for Texas. Let's bring up two more armies. So let's take this general out. Rualdo, get in there and fight, maggot. You guys. Let's go north. Let's go... Da, 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 da. Let's go to the Ir Illinois butter. Illinois butter. The Illinois border. And we might as well take the Bahamas while we're here. I should have fabricated on them, but whatever. It's just base two tax. We'll take the Bahamas while we're here. We might even take part of southern Florida while we're here. In fact, why the hell not? Or maybe, let's see, 1698, maybe we take, maybe we make him release South Carolina. Yeah, that'll be the plan. We'll make him release South Carolina or Georgia. Nope, Georgia's cores are gone, so there's no point in Georgia. We'll make him release South Carolina. All right, at least there's a plan. You see, the plan was, you kill the Texas. This kills the Texas. No, it didn't die. Why won't you die? Whatever. Uh, you guys can just chase him wherever he goes. I assume he's running all the way to Potter. He might stop in Oklahoma. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, our conquistador Henry Downey has died. Damn it. Hmm, 2-5. I'll take it. Romualdo Perkins. Good job, Romualdo. I'm counting on you. Anyway, let's start splitting up Carpet Siege, Texas. Oh, he stopped in Dallas. Okay. So let's go straight to the Illinois border. Do I need to send you an insult? I think I... Uh, I could ally him and call him into the war. He'll say no, and then... I'll... No, you don't get a CV for that anymore. But I already have a CV. But that won't change his opinion of me. No, it won't. No, it'll break our... We, uh, no, it won't, it won't work. Okay, we have to insult him. Damn it. I hate to do that because that lasts for a while. Negative 50 insulted. I don't like that. Oh, well. Bunch of forts are finishing. Bunch of docks are finishing. Good, good, good. Good. Okay, split in half again. Move on. Split in half, move on. Now, we do have some claims on Texas. Uh, he, wow. Yeah, we got claims all over Texas. So, we'll probably take these two, because they will give us a path, to, a corridor to walk through Texas. But maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. All right, Illinois, you've had it too good for too long, my friend. It's time for you to die. Oh my god, he's got level four forts everywhere. Okay, never mind. Huh. Okay, Merlin will not join the war, but that's 
Okay, Minitoba, Ohio, Tennessee, and Ontario. Okay. Yep, they're all in. Everyone's in. Okay, it's going to be a party now. Should we head to Tennessee? Yeah, let's head to Tennessee, and we'll use this 23 stack to help siege up Texas. Yep. Go get him. Oh, he ran away. Why'd you run away? Why you do this? Don't run. Don't run. Oh, I caught you. I caught you. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Beautiful. Oh, and Tennessee's coming to party. Okay. Ain't no party like a Tennessee party because a Tennessee party don't stop. Is that right? I think that's right. He's force marching like a, like a crazy man, which is fine. I think I'm... Do I need to force march up there? No. No, I'll fight him. Just the way it is. And we'll take out this guy and Williamson. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to retreat out of there. Not a problem. We're rolling zeros. Doesn't help. Uh, go to... Chavez, Santa Fe. Denver. Go to Denver. So I tell him to go to Denver, and he decides to go to Bexar. Whatever. In any case, the enemy army is very low on... Oh, shoot, we lost a cardinal. Enemy army is low on morale, so we should be able to... Wow, look at that control of the Curia. Should be able to squish whatever army we run, we run into here, hopefully. Okay, so France won his union over Palatinate. Austria got a union over Palatinate, France declared war to get the union, and he won. So France now has two unions. Good for you, France. You're the best. Squish him. Nope, not going to squish. Unfortunately, we arrived after the end of the month, which means he got his morale up. And for some reason, my morale is dropping like a stone. Yeah, we're going to lose that. That's surprising and quite unfortunate. Huh. Huh completely unexpected that we lost that battle but it's because we arrived after the end of the month okay looks like we're going to need all of our units and Florida hasn't even gotten involved yet let's see what this war looks like damn it looks like a big war wow So we'll have to regroup, see what's possible. I might as well give this army a general. 4-5, I'll take it. You guys, come on in. Party, the water's warm. Stay there. We'll let you re regroup some numbers before we engage any of these clowns again. Because, I mean, that's a decently large army they have. I didn't want them to group up, so I was hoping to squish some of them while they were disorganized. But it didn't happen. The Tennessee has insulted us. Probably over a claim. Eh, whatever. Poland will cede Kolm, Ostrov, and Smolensk to Russia. Poland will, will cede Kalitz and Marienburg to Brandenburg. Poland will cede Lapland to Norway. Poland will give Turov to Ukraine. Wow. So Poland got absolutely fucked. Yeah. That'll do. That'll do, Poland. That'll do. Poor Poland, man. It's not his fault. Well, it sort of is. Hmm. No better relations guy. Darn. All right. Let me slow down to speed three. Make it a little more controllable. Looks like he wants to attack somewhere in Texas. He's sending a stack with a 5-2 general. So why don't we go north to Muskegee? And you guys go north to Kato. See if we can cut him off. He's going west. He's probably going to go to Oklahoma.
Where are you going, Tennessee? Oh, he turned half of his army around. Interesting. Okay, he's coming to Bowie. I can handle that. Bowie on the 5th. Okay. So on the 4th, we'll forced march and head into Bowie. We'll have a defensive bonus, albeit probably a small one. Probably just river crossing or something. Oh, he's actually... Oh, he's going to Pulaski. That's fine. Bingo. Fourth. Forced march. Get in there and fight Maggot. Okay, let's party. Yep, river crossing. And we started out with a really nice roll of a 9 against his roll of a 0. He has more morale than we do. Probably He probably took defensive ideas, which we did not. So he's got that morale bonus. But hopefully we can outnumber him and outdefend him. Ah, we're getting some sieges done. Good. Okay, we killed 7,000 motherfuckers. We still have 35 guys in backup. Uh, I do have room for another general, so let's get another general. And let's roll to... Hmm. Where do I want to go? I don't know. Maybe we'll just go one state at a time. Maybe we'll peace out Texas, take some land, core it. Peace out Tennessee, take some land, core it. Peace out Illinois, take some land, core it. Maybe we'll just do that, right? One state at a time, because... It takes about 18 months to core stuff, so eh, that might leave us in a good spot. Anyway, let's move out of here. Let's see, who's not forced march? You're not forced march. You can stay. Uh, you guys are forced march. Why don't you go to St. Louis, Missouri and turn that off? You guys are forced march. Go to Muskegee and turn that off. Okay. Oh, we're getting attacked in Lafayette. Fun. Yep, here comes Minitaba with a 5-2 against my 6-2. We'll have a defensive bonus here. Now, you're full health, so why don't we bring you down to help to back up? This should be an easy battle, I think. 31 versus 35? Yeah. And we do have, oh, a double defensive bonus, but unfortunately we both rolled a 0. Okay, that was a pretty easy battle as expected. Uh, ba -bum 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 -bum. You guys are still pretty much full health. What do I want to do with you? Let's put the injured guys in Kado. Full health guys. Uh oh, they're force marching south. Okay, go Garland. Not sure where he's going with that stack, but we'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. Where is Minitaba retreating to? All the way back to Minitaba? Probably. It's like, well, I guess I can retreat from Louisiana to Canada. Because the game lets me do it. Oh, here comes Tennessee. And here comes Illinois. Hmm, he's not attacking though. Oh, here we go. He's going south to Lafayette. So he's going to try to go around the bottom to one of these smaller stacks. And I really don't want him to do that. So I'll probably abandon this siege here and go to Harris. Hmm. We'll present a united front over here. So he's coming to Pulaski. That's not an attack. Maybe he's trying to merge as many units as he can before he attacks. It's possible. 
No, he's going south. What are you doing? I mean, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we're still sieging up Texas, so he hasn't stopped us from doing what we wanted to do. Okay, here we go. He's attacking Lafayette. We'll probably force march down there with these guys and these guys. He's attacking on the 2nd of August. Potter! Cool. One, one, pause. Good. Okay, I will leave... What, one guy here? Just a token dude. Uh, it's a level four, so I'm not going to leave four guys there. Actually, I guess I could. Yeah, I mean, this it doesn't look like it's that threatening. So we'll leave four guys here, no problem. Forced march. Get in there and fight, maggot. Oh my goodness. He's a 4-6 general. Ow. And uh, that hurt. That really hurts. Wow, he's wrecking me. He's rolling nines as well. I mean, you don't need to be that OP. <laughs> okay, he rolled a zero. Fine. Wow, we lost... We lost more than he did. No, we lost about the same. But yeah, that 4-6 general, that, that fucking hurts. <laughs> Saint performs miracle, gains stability. Nice. Really nice. Wow, I like free stability. There goes Muskegee. And he's running to Sebastian. Alright, yeah, come attack me, dude. He's probably going to go to Garland. No, he's going around. Okay. Oh, I know where he's going. He's going to Kato. Yep. Okay, we finished our mission to get a claim on Lubbock. What's next? Take Kato, form an alliance of Saskatchewan, accumulate money. We might take Kato. I don't know. I'll take the mission. I mean, we're we're close to taking Kato. We might take it. Oh, he's actually going to attack in Heinz. That's interesting. On the 1st of October, September 30th. 9.30, go. Okay, so far so good. So this is typically the strategy. Anytime you're fighting a big war, I mean, this is this is a big war. And the best way to deal with big wars like this is just try to defend all the time. All the time. Uh, if you can, isolate enemy armies and crush them. I mean, crush them, make them, make them pop. If you can't isolate them, then just defend, like I've been doing here. You create a front with all these units, they eventually attack across rivers or into mountains, whatever. Uh, the AI will always try to push you out of their lands any way they can. And that means attacking in situations where maybe they shouldn't attack. Maybe it's not a smart idea for them to attack. But AI is going to do what AI is going to do, right? Okay. Almost done with Texas. Okay, I caught that stack, and the idea, of course, is just crush it. Don't let it retreat. There you go. And we converted coal. Yay, where else can we convert? We can convert Lafayette. Let's do it. Okay, can we rotate you guys in? Yeah, let's go Pulaski, Lee. I think Pulaski's good. We'll go there. You guys, do I want to give you a month to recover? Yes, I do. Okay, that's pretty healthy. Now, we don't really need anything from Manitoba. I do have a claim on them, but the claim doesn't get us anything good. I have a claim on Burley, which has no North Dakotan core, so it doesn't really do me much good. Although, I, I'll need to take the land at some point, so maybe maybe now is as good a time as ever to take this land. I mean, it's only a four base tax. All right. 
Mm, but I don't want to send my super general, so we'll probably wait for someone else to become available. Who should we invade? Uh, Virginia? No. Michigan? Yeah, let's go unsiege this. I'm going to put my army in harm's way over here because I think he can handle it. This is my amazeballs general, 4-6, Superman, and uh, he can do anything. you got to believe that you can do anything because otherwise you're just lost. Oh, uh-oh. I didn't see this army here, and now we are in a bad spot. I mean, no, this is bad. <laughs> He's got a defend. He's got a reinforcing army on the way. He's got two reinforcing armies on the way. Oh, but we won that battle. But we're not going to win the next battle. So, do we force to march somebody up there? Mm, no, I don't think so. I think we retreat out of there. There's no way we can win that. Well, that's too bad. And we got crushed. Because, I don't know, it said it was retreating, and then you saw it didn't retreat at all. We fought the battle in Champagne, and then we said to retreat, and you saw the retreating arrow. And then it immediately, immediately initiated another battle, and we were crushed. Which made no sense. We never actually retreated. So that's a bug. That's a quite annoying bug. So recruit more guys, I guess. Okay, 20 soldiers, 2 cav, and we'll start with 12 cannons, now we'll go for 16. Okay. But that was our super general, so we're going to have to put him in some army. Uh, you guys, no you have an army, you have a general. Yeah, I don't really have an army for him right now. But we'll finish a siege soon and we'll give him an army. Anyway, that, that really sucks. Little bugs like that. Oh well. Okay, there goes Dallas. Debbie does Dallas. So we'll switch our super general in here because this guy's on the front lines. Uh, I mean, they are pushing south with their stuff. But you still got to believe that you can beat them, right? I think it's time for us to tech up. That allows us a new type of cannon, which we'll immediately switch in. Cohorn mortar. Cool. And let's head up to Craighead. Move on. Texas is pretty much dead here. Yay! Our heir, Romo Romualdo, has died. Do we have an heir? Nope. No heir. So if we die today, we get a Pacific Coaster which is probably another Downey or some other coaster dynasty, maybe even a Schwarzenegger. But we might... Oh, wow. What? Russia went hostile for some reason. Last time I checked, he was Greenheart friendly, like France is. Anyway, I think I would like to get into the the uh, Habsburg dynasty. The Habsburg dynasty looks amazing. So let's go ahead and get in a marriage with France again and uh, get our just finagle our way into the Habsburg dynasty. So what happens if we die today? We get a Habsburg. Yay! Go Habsburgs. <laughs> it's like, I think that's the first time I've ever said go Habsburgs. But yeah, that'd be amazing. Switch over to the Habsburg dynasty. Wow. Okay, there goes Kato. And we're going to need another general. But... Four is our limit, so let's, let's not overextend on the generals. I mean, we could, but... Nah. Okay, so he's grouped up a stack of like 76. Nope, make that like 93. Wow, that is a lot of units right there. Nope, he's spreading out again. No, he's not. What is he doing? I don't know. AI is doing whatever the AI wants to do. I want to be crazy! Okay, you're crazy. Yay! New army is recruiting just fine. Do we have any claims on Tennessee? 
Uh, one, but you don't need claims to take land, it just helps. What's the deal with all the single ships? They're transports that we will group up uh, in a sec. Mm, there. Don't worry about them. They are not important. Yeah, we gotta go free our vassals, man. Our vassals are taking a pounding. All right, there goes Texas, 100%, you little bastard. So we have claims, you can see them all here. Having a claim makes it cheaper. Instead of 50 Dippo points for each province, it's only 28. Now, if we had declared on Texas for these provinces, instead of 28, they would each cost zero. But we didn't declare on Texas, so it's only a small cost reduction instead of a big cost reduction. All right, what do we want? Let's see, I can't take much overextension because we're going to stay in this war for a while. So let's get a passage. Let's get the uh, Kado, because we promised we would, and uh, Bowie, and Muskegee. Okay, so that's 36 overextension. I can afford that, yeah. Can I afford anything else? McClellan. I can do that, yeah. Man, what a weird border that would create, but that's... um. 44 overextension. How much do we have already? We have 44. So we can take up to 56. So why don't we take... Oh god, why did you not save my settings game? Let's take 56. Can we afford that? What would be 56? That's 36. Is there anything for 20? No. But there is 40, which might be nice. No, it's not possible. So 44, that looks like the best deal we can really get. No, we could do Lubbock. That would be 52. All right, that, that looks like a better deal. We'll core that shit. Done. And I can't make you get rid of any allies, but I don't care. You can keep your shitty allies. Get out of my war, Texas. Yeah. Texas, you look gorgeous. <laughs> Texas, you're so sad. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, let's chase them out of there. And we'll start pushing into Tennessee next. We really are mark. Look at that. We've we we have reached like the center of what I would call the center of the USA. It's not geographically the center, but this river here, you know, the Mississippi, the Mississippi, Missouri and whatever this river is that continues up north really is the dividing line between east and west in this nation. And we're almost there. In fact, we can probably take... Yeah, we can probably take everything up to that line in this war. Just take these two, and we're done. But yeah, how long will those cores take to finish? This one. March of 78, so three years. Oh, wow, I have to stay in this war three years. Hmm, I think we'll do it, though. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen, you've been you. We'll be back next time to continue this wonderful war against this. Texas has peaced out. Yay! I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.